Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Firewatch. That's right, it's a brand new game. We're not in Mini Metro, we're not in Mini Motorways. I know you guys really love that game, but I want to check out Firewatch. It's a really emotional action adventure game that I've always wanted to play, and I thought I'd play it with you guys here on the channel. So let's just go ahead and hop into a new game. There's a lot of dialogue at the start. I'll read through it, and then we'll get into the game. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, I guess we gotta click uh, that there. All right, Boulder, Colorado, 1975 quite some years ago at this point. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed well professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So we got some options here. We could go, so, what's your, you know, major, or you, you're pretty. I think we're gonna go with the classic, what's your major? You slur the words major, and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Burn. Ooh, <laughs> Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurts your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you, and Julia, you are Julia's boyfriend. Okay, looks like we're in an elevator here. Very nice elevator. I like the graphics. All right, let's go ahead and grab our backpack here. And it sounds like the elevator's coming to a stop. And I imagine that's our truck there. Yeah, we're the only one around. Let's go ahead and throw our bag into the back of the truck. I don't know if I'd do that. I'd just put it on the seat next to me, but that's neither here nor there. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle Julia is in love with. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while you're walking this dog. It's badass. Let's go. Well, of course she loves the beagle. Uh, we're going to pick up the beagle, and she names him Bucket. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. 1979, so we jump forward four-ish years. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. That would be pretty good or one day, why rush? Let's go ahead with the, the pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are gonna be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. All right, we're hopping out of our truck here. Oh my God, look at this. This is beautiful. I mean, this game is like five or six years old at this point, but look at the graphics. Look, oh, look at that little leaf. Hello, little leaf. Where are you going, my friend? Oh, disappeared into the grass there. What do we got over here? Fire danger. Uh, is that extreme? Today, prevent forest fires. Well, thank you, my friend. All right, let's come over here and check out this board and we'll get jogging here. Thoroughfare trailhead. All right, well, thoroughfare basin. Thoroughfare Lookout. It doesn't really say where we're on the map, but that's that's okay. Let's see. Don't forget to check in. No fireworks. That's key. Uh, you're in their country. Learn to live with bears. And Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail. All right. So let's uh, let's see what we got out here. It's like a little letterbox or something. Probably had maps in it if we wanted to. God, just look at this. This is this is beautiful. 
I don't know if I've played a more beautiful game than this. 1980, so now we've jumped up a year. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. Well, I don't think either are a good choice. Um, I guess we'll get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. Mm, not a great thing. She tells you to mm, yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Not the greatest communication there. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You can pose and flex like He-Man, or we can frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Uh, we're gonna go He-Man, of course. You look awesome. Ooh, this is a little bit of a long drop. And it's getting kind of dark out. We're still hiking. God, look at that sun. That sun is absolutely astonishing. Wow, look at the shadows. Guys, if you've seen a be more beautiful game than this, let me know in the comments so I can play it. But this has got to be the most beautiful game I've ever played. All right, two forks, fire lookout, eight more miles still. Looks like we got quite a bit of way to go. Space bar to hop over this fallen tree here. This trail's actually, for a primitive trail, it's in pretty good shape. 1982, during the summers, you and Julio enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Holy crud. Bucket gets kicked. Baba, mm, the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away or you beat his in. Um, we'll scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984, so we've known each other for about nine years now. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants you to move, or she wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job, agree if she commutes back and forth. Dude, just move with her. Um, all right, let's go ahead and commute back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you don't want to move. You tell her not to pass it up if, she, if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985, so we've known each other about 10 years now. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost another colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try and forget about it. No, you always talk to someone about that type of stuff. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. All right, looks like we're tucking in for the night. We got our bag there, our sleeping bag, a little Coleman lantern in our uh, journal. Let's go ahead and grab our journal here. Take a peek, see? Ah, there's the He-Man. March 5th, 1985. And, oh, I couldn't read that that quick. Well, at least our character here likes to journal. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in her class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your onboard child, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into the bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. 
you count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide, you decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You're determined to take care of her by yourself. Ooh, uh, what would I do? I, I, oof, I would have to. I'd have to take care of her by myself. There's no way I would be able to do that in good conscience. All right, so we're back on the trail here. God, just look at this green. Look how vibrant it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. A little fog and mist down there. Jeez, these stones, the rocks. Great job to the graphic designers in this game. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. Across this log here. Don't fall off. Oh, there's a there's an elk. Hello, friend. How are you? Oh, no, don't run away. I just want to say hi. Goodbye. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while she, you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust her, you trust that she sleeps like a rock. Gotta go if the sleep breaks the rock. Door, fire, with a, a no, no good. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off your shoulders. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night you get stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Suzanne. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state of your house. The, the state your house is in. Wow. Uh, then you tell they then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. All right, guys, as promised, that was an emotional start. And here we are in the game, getting ready to go into the fire tower. Thoroughfare lookout. All right. So let's head up here, get a little more of a jog going on here. And let's just go up these stairs and get into our fire tower for the night. Look at that moon, though. Look at that. Jeez, that almost looks real. And the clouds? Ugh, I, I can't believe this. This is just absolutely stunning all right let's get in the door here and turn on the power generator switch boom we got power boys and girls this is our home hello two forks tower all right let's go ahead and grab the radio here all right hold left shift to activate the radio um hello whoever this is it's henry right yeah I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. All right, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against your mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Uh, let's go with you killed three ex-husbands. Okay. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. That was a good introduction. I like that. Day one here in Firewatch. 
Ah, the typewriter. I love that clickety clack, clickety clack. All right, let's talk to Delilah here. Sorry, guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? All right, let's let's see which way is west. I don't Those think fucking fireworks. Which way is west? Do we have a compass? Oh, and to use compass. Okay. I need you to confirm. All right, west. Do you see them? Let's look out this window. There they are. See them? Boom! Fireworks! Boom! Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Uh, let's. Ooh, we'll go with this one. I can't say that word though. Kick the shit out of him, sort of straight. No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Good to know. Um, convenient. convenient. That's one word for it. All right, well, let's uh, let's grab our pack here, and we'll... we'll oh, do we not take our pack? I guess we're not taking our pack. Oh, there we go. We're grabbing our pack. Let's go, uh, let's go stop these fireworks. All right, down the stairs we go. Boom. So as we walk down to the lake to stop these fireworks, if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see this whole series all the way through. Uh, let's see. We are in Thoroughfare Trail. Uh, where is the... All right, so we're at the lookout here, and we need to go to Catch 306 and then down to Jonesy Lake. So I think we need to go back this way, it looks like, right? Yeah, I think we need to go back this way. So let's go ahead and put our stuff down. And then we're going to head down to the lake here. And we'll get that box with the rope in it. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it, especially if you want to see all these beautiful Firewatch videos. I mean, like, look at this. This is just absolutely stunning. Ah, I, I can't believe this. It's just such a beautiful game. All right, let's head down this way here. Down here. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. All right, so we need to go back the other way. That's embarrassing. I promise I know how to read a compass. Good thing we can get a little jog going here. Henry, uh, Henry needs to get his steps in. Hopefully he's got his phone on him so he can track it all. All right, back up here we go. That's embarrassing. I'm so sorry, guys. Just wasting your time here, wasting everyone's time. All right, back up the hill. Here's the fire tower. All right. And then let's go, I think it's this way. I think I needed to go down this way. Here we go, here's the trail I wanted. All right, let's go open up the one, two, three, four combination safe box. Um, is it this way? What's this say? There was something that popped up. Hey, I can see your tower. Oh, let's do that. Yep, that's me. Hi. Oh, not much, eh? Alright, uh, is it this way we go? Am I just that lost? 
All right, let's pull our map up here again. Nope. Zoom in. All right, we're kind of heading the right way. Now we are. Okay. Oops, I keep wanting to pull out the radio. I keep hitting shift to run, not R. So if you ever do play the game, it's the R key to, to run in this game. Which, so far, I highly recommend you guys get Firewatch. Right now, the Steam sale is going on. 100% recommend. Here we go. Here's the box. All right. We got the supply box. Um, found the supply box. I found the supply box. Great. One. And I can hear the fireworks in the background. Two, three. And let's get this up to four here. And there we go. Unlock that. Perfect. And looks like we got a map and a note. Uh, copy the information over there. Catch 306. Map updated. Beautiful. Uh, let's just take a peek at this note. Uh, and we can read it. 7786. Ron. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars he liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get when I get back. Dave. Oh, how nice of you, Dave. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll hang on to that for now. Um, oh, we could have called uh, Delilah about that. Let's go ahead and tell her we found the rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Perfect. And then we'll tell her about the... People just stuff these things with old food. That's how you get bears. And we'll eat it. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. All right, and then let's go ahead and close that, and uh, we'll keep heading down towards the lake. And there I am hitting the shift key again instead of the R key. Mm. You guys are probably going to see me whipping out that radio quite a bit when I really meant to uh, go for a little jog here. All right, I keep hearing the fireworks. I can't see them anymore. It's kind of covered by the trees right now. Coming into some little meadow here. That's nice. It's so pretty. So pretty. All right. There they are. All right, let's get over there. Rope hook. Okay, so we got to hook our rope up here uh, so we can go down the shale. Go ahead and hook in there. Whee! So as some of you guys know, I actually just got back from a nice trip to Patagonia where we were doing some stuff like this. It was actually kind of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, sometimes these shale faces are not the easiest to climb. Oh, wow, that... That doesn't, oof, no fun falling down a steep rock face like that. Yeah, the radio make it, didn't get smashed, that's good. It's getting kind of dark out, though. All right, report climbing accident. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. <laughs> Well, glad they're at least somewhat concerned. All right, that sun's getting low. Just look at the orange. This is so beautiful. All right, we're in the meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. Oh, there's a fire or something up there. Yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Tons of beer cans here or something? Yeah, let's report the beer cans. Empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, clean it up. Yeah, we're going to take a minute here to clean up Mother Nature. I hate people that litter. So we're, even in a video game, it just bothers me. Take the 10 seconds to clean up after yourself. I mean, come on, guys. Leave it cleaner than you found it. All right, there we go. There we go. What do you like? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Looks like they left their packs up there. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. All right, let's clean up these beer cans over here. And then I think we can stomp that fire out. Oh, we're going to take their fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate, confiscate them. those. Perfect. Ooh, there's a bottle of whiskey there and a campfire. So let's oh, go ahead look, and... They decided to have a campfire, too. Stomp that fire out. The fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account okay. just plain stupid, does it? Fire's out now. Good. And then let's, uh, can we confiscate the whiskey oh, bottle? Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish? Um. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. We're not going to save for later. Let's just go and put that back. Alright, so let's get down to the lake here. 
and um, do what we need to. Oh, there is a. I'll let him say it. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> and a pair of underwear. There are uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say mm. that. Another. Word. Why? Because you're 12. There's a. Uh, ooh. Yes. <laughs> we'll go with this one. Naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Uh, all right, so we found them. them in the lake. With sparklers, it looks like. Is that a guy over there? Oh, boy. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes? Oof. He's probably still a virgin. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, let's just go if we just so you're aware. I confiscated your fireworks. Our fireworks? What? You did. Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're going to pay for that. Can we just get out of here? Gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. At least they didn't call us old. And they're going to go hide behind that rock. Alright, let's see if we can turn their radio off here. Uh, nope, we can't. Okay, so we'll just put that back. Hey, that go okay? And yeah, it went fine. Fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. You're welcome. All right, so let's get back to our tower, which is, I think, just kind of right up there. Not sure. Looks like we're going to follow this creek back up instead of going through the shale. Look how this canyon is just, just such a nice orange. It's so pretty. I like it. Cross this log here. And up we go. And another jump here. Boom. All right. Perfect. Oops. Kind of swaying there a little bit there, bud. That might have been my fault. I might have been hitting the, the D key a little as we were running down that slope. That's okay. Let's just turn around and look at that. Isn't that so, so pretty? I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about... Uh, while you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Alright, how do we, um, how hey, do I get up? I can see my tower. How do I get back? If it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure their reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, what was that? That storm? Death trap. So, you know, be careful. As a storm rolls through, nice. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, let's get out of this box canyon. Yeah, right, because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Hmm. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going <laughs> to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Oh. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed All right, him. let's check what this over him. here. Suicide. Would you believe? <laughs> okay, sorry, we shouldn't laugh at that. That's a serious topic. All right, so we know it's one, two, three, four, two, three, and we'll get this up to four here. Unlock that, and let's see what we got here in this box. Got a nice map to copy some more information down. Looks like we're at site 303. We updated that. Pretty picture. Uh, deer antler. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why is that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. <laughs> Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. 
interesting. I uh, don't know what she's trying to imply there, but let's go ahead and uh, grab the flashlight. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Sorry, guys. Let's go ahead and resume the game there. Uh, we'll report our flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's going to go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. All right, we'll go ahead and take that flashlight. Let's see if the batteries work. I guess not. Oh, there it is. Nice. We blind ourselves. All right, let's go ahead and close this. And it looks like we're going into the cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. No. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. All right, looks like we got a locked gate. Ooh, we could play a little joke here. seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. All right, uh, we'll this report the locked gate. This gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. <laughs> All right, let's uh, play with the echo. Did anyone respond? No, thank God. All right, uh, let's it, see. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go oh, in. look, it's dark. They never come out. Now look at it. Yeah, we just got out. So this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. Nice. Okay. Let's head up this way. Oh, there's a figure. Hello, friend. There's some guy out here. That some happens from time guy. to time in a park. Hello. Wait, he's he's walking away. Him. Don't is walk away from me, friend. I, I don't think so. All right, so. let's go get him. Let's go say hi. Hey, there's, there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? Come on. The whole thing. And jump. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Where'd he yeah, go? Yeah, okay, I get it. He was Look, bumping like right here. Why is it? Did he Smart climb up that way? All right, let's climb up this way. Let's see if we can catch this guy. I want to say hello to this person. Let's get up these rocks here. Is he gonna be up here and like kick us off the rocks or something? It's getting a little windy too. You can hear the wind in the background. Get up on top of this rock, climb these rocks. Ooh, that was quick. All right, we got to be getting close to our lookout tower, too. Yeah, and a little tired. That was, that was a little bit of a climb, boys and girls. All right, and we're going to keep running. So there's the path we are coming up. All right, some more rocks to, to scale. Let's get up here. Was that him on the right? I couldn't tell. I might have seen a little light or something. All right, and then we're going to climb these rocks. Is he going to be up here? No. All right, trail close sign. Well, she did say they closed off this trail. Yeah, I'd be a little tired after all that climb. Oop. And the sign goes down, and so do we. Not the uh, not the greatest. Let's get our flashlight out here. Do we see him anywhere? I don't. That's our tower. Um, clo uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was... Backbreaking, but you know anything for the service. There's our tower. Anytime. Ah, oh, it's a bathroom. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom. You're a man. Harry. There's our generator. You wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. <laughs> and there's our Jenny. This generator. It's all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and well. You don't have much in the way of electronics, so. What about my hairdryer? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. <gasps> Wait, why is my typewriter on the ground? Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. No sh. Not me. Ooh, let's get upstairs quickly. 
Wait, if our typewriter's down here, that means someone came up here. There's someone in here? No, but the place is, oh my god, ransacked and broken glass? Someone broke in. What? They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. Someone stole, stole my bed sheets? sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Calendar, what else happened? Ransacked cupboards? The place is trashed. They took my books. There were some books here. How dare they? Um, some more ransacked cupboards. I believe this shit. Okay, um, I put in a call. That was, that was fast. fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done back. this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Uh, let's go, don't, don't worry. worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. He's not wrong. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. Day two. All right. What an interesting start to the game. Uh, we'll let this load here and then I'll go ahead and do my sign off really quick. Once we have a second. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming out and enjoying Firewatch with me as Delilah talks in the background. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to go ahead and finish the entire game. So if you want to see how it finishes, be sure to come back and get all this content in orderly time and in a ooh, timely and orderly fashion. Wow, I can't remember my own tagline, but that's okay. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.